Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're here with Timberborn. Uh, it's a newish game, still kind of out in a pre release, but it looks fun, and it's a good city builder that's not super stressful, kind of like Cliff Empire. A little less stressful than that, though, and it's got some great background noise. Uh, we're not going to be continuing. I've done some great things with my city. We're going to be starting a new game, and we've got the Iron Teeth. Uh, defectors of traditional timberways, advanced iron and machinery. Hmm. Their motto is work hard, work hard. And then we have easygoing, hardworking folk tales, expert farmers, respect to nature, and it rewards them with bounties. Their motto is comfort, food, and sturdy wood. Uh, as I've already played a decent amount with the folk, we're going to be going with them. We're not going to go with a super large map just because the planes kind of, they kind of, it was too much. I had too many regions. Uh, we're just going to start something smallish. Small enough for us, but also enough for like some good 192 by 192. That's probably a good down step from planes. That's where I was the first time is the planes. So we'll go there. We're going to do normal. I refuse to do hard or custom. And that's it. We just start the game and we see what happens. I hope everybody has been enjoying it. I apologize for not recording the past few days and for that noise. Uh, I actually came down with a illness and been bedridden for a while. Stupid things won't accept that they've been plugged in properly. There we go. So I was in bed for a little bit, uh, some painkillers, and just, I didn't want to have bad energy when I recorded, so I kind of just waited until I was feeling better. So I do apologize. <clears throat> oh, there we go. What would we like to call our settlement? Uh, <laughs> new, new Valhalla, I don't know. Uh, for now, oh my god, there's so much water on both sides. For now, we're just going to call this... Hmm. What what is a good city? I don't know. I don't know what to name this. Uh welcome. This will help you with all the basics. Okay. Um hmm. What would you like to call your new settlement? I don't know. <clears throat> Let me know what we should call the new settlement in the comments, and for now it'll just be District 1. And oh, it is Dis 1. And this is pretty much it. It looks like we have a... Pr oh my god, we have so many natural reservoirs here. Are these... How are these? Are these like constantly filling with water? How does this work? Is it filling with water from over here? How in the world? I'm so confused. Like, where's the source of water? Is this the source of water? Do I just have water forever here? I mean, I could see the... Okay. Well, <clears throat> we'll figure all that out soon enough. It looks like we don't have a lot of land, actually. I think that's going to be the issue, is getting enough land to support our beavers. So the first thing we're going to do is get a lumberjack flag down. Where's wood? Okay, I've got to find everything. Wood. Lumberjack flag. We'll put a lumberjack. There's no... Oh, there's berries over there. So we'll put the lumberjack flag over here, and then we'll put our berry guy over here and then we'll path between them because the beavers will not build if there's not paths connecting everything they're kind of sticklers about that so we connect him up and then we connect him up and now they will go on and look at him he's going to go build this lumberjack flag and then somebody's going to become a lumberjack so we can fast forward and we can see that somebody's down here and now we're going to pause it and he'll say nothing's in range right so we got to come over here got to cut trees and we got to tell him that what's his distance so we're going to say all the trees within range cut down so we're going to start cutting all these trees down so let's go to cut trees and we're gonna say from here all the way to over here you're going to cut trees and then from like right here to all the way over here you'll cut trees and now when we start fast forwarding he will start cutting trees <clears throat> the next thing we need is there so there are water sources down here okay that's what i was curious about what about down here is there water sources 
I can't really see down here that well. Uh, I don't see water sources down here. But there may be water sources into the one that's flooding into it. There are. Okay, so there's water sources in here. Uh, if you can't tell the water sources are those little like rock looking things at the very bottom. There's water sources. I can't get low enough to see into here. And I'm going to assume there's water sources in here. So we have a lot of water. And as we cut down trees, he's going to store those. So on top of the water, we're going to need water pumps. And these are just going to help us get water for the actual creatures. Sorry, creatures. My my good little workers here. This will help them. I don't know why I built the path that way. I'm stupid. Anyway. <clears throat> so they'll build those two water pumps and now they have water. See, they just started to get thirsty. So now as they get thirsty, they'll go in there and they'll pump some water. The game still wants me to put another lumberjack flag down, so I guess I'll put a second one down and we'll path to it. He's just going to do the same thing as the first guy, so we'll continue. It's going to... That's kind of weird. Oh, it's just asking me to build another lumberjack flag. That's weird. But see the beavers, they're kind of thirsty again, so we're just going to keep on letting them pump the water pretty much. So we've done that, we've connected it, we've marked trees, we've built the water pump, we got the gatherer flag. Now it's going to ask us to build a farmhouse because, well, we're going to need to farm. And the thing about this is without a lot of land, we don't have a lot of land. We have a lot of fertile soil, but not a lot of land. <clears throat> not until we can clear out some of these areas or make better overflow paths. Uh, I see a few things that we're going to have to do to try and get some of these areas cleared out and get some of this land more more suitable for growing crops because this is not it right now. So let's get back to where where is District 1. There it is. Okay. So we're going to build a farmhouse and we're just going to put it kind of over here where they're already at. They're already kind of getting food over here. So it just makes sense to me to put the farmhouse over here. And we'll wait till day. And they'll build the farmhouse. And then once the farmhouse is built, we can start planting crops. And the big one for me is an easy one. We just want something that's going to be planted quick and easy and be able to harvest. So we're going to plant a bunch of carrots. I forgot where the... Yeah. We're going to wait till it's built so I can see their planting limit really quick. And then we will see, and you can see our beavers are hard at work over here cutting down those logs. Um, <clears throat> getting power may be a slight issue. This looks like one of the big areas where we're going to have to put water, because none of this water is flowing. So it looks like we may have to... Oh, this is going to be rough. Some of these areas are not great. This is a rough map. I didn't even think about that. Ooh, the plains was pretty straightforward compared to this. Build a dam and deal with that. We don't really have to deal with damming as much just because of how much water is in here. We kind of have a good source of just infinite water right here. We just have to control the flow and try and put them all in the same area. Because see all that down there? That's ruins. It's left behind by the stupid humans. So, uh... Those ruins are what's going to give us metal and some more advanced research and some end game stuff. So we're going to eventually get there saying that these poor, poor beavers that I am now in charge of don't die eventually. I think to even get there, I'm going to have to demolish some of my food though. Oh, that's very annoying and sad. All right, so now he's saying there's nothing to do. So now we're going to plant some carrots. So what is your distance? So I pretty much all the way down to here. So we're just going to cover that entirety of this area in carrots. And then I'm going to not have carrots right here just because. And we'll just cover that entire side of the road in carrots. And they will eventually plant them. So now we're going to need a log pile, a warehouse, and a water tank. Well, seeing as my logs are coming from this area, we'll build a log pile close to them. That's going to be in storage, so we'll build a log pile. 
we'll build a warehouse and we'll put the warehouse kind of central and then we're going to need some water tanks and seeing as my water is coming from right here we'll just put the two water tanks right there oh it wants three okay so three water tanks right there and then now you can see they have a place to put all the logs that they're cutting down they'll go right here we're gonna extend we're gonna move this guy so we'll delete him we're actually gonna move that flag to right here just so it's not in the way of the road we're gonna rebuild the road right here and we're gonna start trying to get to right here because we're gonna need power eventually and the only power that we're gonna have is running water for a little bit so that's gonna be rough but we have to mark some things for demolition, unfortunately, which means mark resources for demolition here and all the way down that line. <clears throat> and you can see this blue outline, that's how far they can work. So there they go. And as we extend these roads, the lines will get different colors. And if it's a red line, that means you're at the very end of your district's ability. So you can see right here, if I extend this road, and go back to my district my line has now continued all the way down here so so forth so forth i can continue to build a pathway and a road to my uh, flowing water which will eventually become a dam area you see how the roads are starting to get a little bit red though this area right here is starting to turn orange that means i'm getting near the end of where the beavers for district one will be able to take uh, we already have full water, and we're building the third one. Yeah, it's already got 15 logs. It just needs builders. So let's not cut trees. Let's just keep building paths right now. There we go. So as we do that, I don't really see a knee. Uh, we'll probably dam this area up just because, but we have quite a bit of water. So the dams won't come. Now we need to build housing, which is why I kind of left this area right here open so we can do some housing. So we're going to do some lodges. And it wants six lodges. That's a good amount. So one, two, three. We can fit three in right here. Fitting this lodging in is going to be the hassle. Hmm. So we've got three right here, and if we had some of the more advanced things, I could start stacking them. This is going to be a tall colony. A lot of things are just going to be built up from the ground. So from here, we'll just do one. There's a bush in the way, so we'll get rid of that bush. We're going to delete mark resource for demolition. And then we're going to add some more housing right here. So... As soon as they get rid of that, we'll add some more housing. But they're building their houses right now, which means now we have less homeless beavers. We do have one beaver without a job, though. So be that as it may, right now the most important job is food and water. And we'll high priority that just so we can at least get the foundation areas laid out. So we're going to path right here. And then we'll throw the housing down right in front of that. Uh, some normal lodges. Perfect. And that leaves just enough room for the path to kind of continue along the ledge here. And even up into that area over here. Which may have actually... Oh, well, didn't extend his range. <clears throat> but now we have a range all across this general area. I may actually move him to like right there. I wonder if... A gatherer flag right here. Yeah, that's that's the better area for the gatherer flag. So we'll get rid of this one. Uh, oh, my guys. My guys are hungry. They need the gatherer flag. Oops, that was a bad timing. Better high prioritize that. That way my guy can start gathering. Okay. So he'll start gathering food now. And my guys can start eating. And these guys are actually harvesting carrots, so perfect timing. We we match the timing almost perfectly. Uh, we're going to end up destroying everything in this corner, though, so not great. And we're just going to see what the tutorial tells us to do. We're just kind of going to go based off that for a little bit. 
just as a starter, I'm still not great at the game. I've had very little experience, so the more tutorial, the better. Ooh, build a dam over here and just block that entire area would be pretty nice. There's a lot of water, but it's flowing into areas I don't want it flowing into. Which means if I wanted it to flow like into here... Alright, so we just got a warning. So that says three days until there's a drought. We don't like droughts. We're beavers. We need water. What that means is that we're going to have to build a dam over here somewhere. Uh, ideally, can build it like right here. I'm not too worried about water just because of how much water is in this general area already. Uh, the issue is, you see how it says this site is too far away from construction? Um, it's because there's no paths currently leading to it. But as it gets built, we'll just see. There's also not a lot of wood being in this area, so we're going to take our path here and just kind of extend it. And then we're going to take that. He's got 12 logs. He has one, so we'll delete that one. We're going to extend a path over here. And we're going to rebuild our wood pile over there. So we're going to put a new lumberjack flag right here so he can get the rest of these birch trees. And we're going to build another lumberjack flag right here so we can get all of these trees. And then once this one is empty, we'll delete that one. I just didn't want to lose those logs. Hey, beavers are happy. They now have housing. Uh, we have zero homeless beavers. And we're about to finish this last lodge. It only needs like three more logs. <clears throat> this game is just kind of fun and relaxing and kind of fun with the water physics. All right, so we need an inventor's hut. They want us to start doing science. Oh, that's a bad idea. So you see how this road's very red? That means that it's very near the end of the district. Or not the district, but for that flag to be transported. It's also very near the end of the district based on the red. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory of that. We're going to mark some of these for demolition just because I'm going to need this area for some other stuff eventually. Yeah, eventually. Not currently, but we're getting there. All right, you see, you see they're going to build the first of the dams. Uh, it's a little bit late to try and dam for the coming drought, but uh, it's kind of is what it is. Science, we're going to build an inventor's hut. And we'll just kind of throw him down what, right here. Yep. And then we'll path. We have some natural stairs already cut in for us, so that's perfect. And then we can just... Ugh. We're going to have to mark that for cutting or demolition. We'll just destroy it. Where's my destroy button? And we'll just get that marked for demolition. And eventually they'll destroy it. And we'll build our inventor's hut. That first dam is well on its way to being built. <clears throat> Still trying to figure out. So there's water sources in here flowing into here which means i'm assuming there's no water sources in there there's water sources in here flowing into here Ugh, trying to get this to dry out so we can get those resources it's going to be kind of rough i don't even know if that's going to be like a possible thing to do it's also much lower so we will lose some of our water we're going to lose a little bit of water not a lot, just just enough. Let's get this high prioritized, though. I'm not too worried about the dam. I mean, it's kind of already gone, so... Can't really save water that's not being produced. However, it is free-flowing into here, and eventually it'll stop flowing out, so... Eventually it'll just stop flowing on its own. See how it's getting less and less? Yeah. But we have a good source of water, which is extremely good. Uh, that was an issue I had on the last game I was playing, was just trying to maintain the source of water. This does not have a... Oh, okay. Hmm. Interesting. This map is interesting. It's like a bunch of craters. 
all being flooded, which means that, yep, see the water's kind of stopped flooding over right now. So now everything's going to just kind of dry up a little bit, not a whole lot. Why are you paused? Oh, I accidentally hit space. I'm stupid. Oh, God. I paused in the middle of a drought. That's what you want to do. <clears throat> okay. So now we can start getting this inventor hut built by putting a pathway to it. And eventually it'll get built. It's construction site. Oh, that's the that doesn't need anyone. Okay. These beavers make no sense to me. Like, this requires no... So you have haulers and builders. Uh, this guy says there's nothing to do. So we're going to tell him to cut down some more trees in this vast area behind him. And all these trees right here are just leftovers. You can't really do anything with them. Nice how there's already stairs going all the way to the top up here, though. I like that. Lots of areas for this. I can see a lot of things to do here and also a lot of annoyances. Like It's going to end up being like a quarry. We're trying to control water and everything. Letting it flow. Oh, the drought ended. So now the water here is just going to start rising again. We didn't even make a scratch on our freaking water levels. Nice. Uh, they're going to keep making this over here. That inventor hut is going to take a while, I think. Just because, yeah, all the logs are not going to him. They're going to our other stuff. So let's prioritize the inventor's hut. So they at least go. Yeah, it's not going to take too long. So pine make two. So every time he cuts down a pine tree. Where's his limits at? Oh, it's being built right now. You bastard. Ugh. Well, we're going to get rid of you. And we'll have one right here, and then this one right here. But the inventor's hut is now built. So we can go through that. Now we got to build water wheels, which is why I was trying to finish the dam up. So we can get some water pushing out this way. And as we build water wheels, they're quite expensive, if you can't tell. They are very expensive. But they can be built right here, and I think I could build a second one right there. Yes, I could, but that would be another 50 logs. So let's worry about one right now. But as you can see, uh, these beavers are happily toiling away, building that dam up. We're going to need power, because the water wheel is going to power our next big step in technology for the beavers. So the more dams we have, this water is going to rise, and it's going to force water through here, and it's going to speed it up. So it's actually going to give us a really good power outlet. The problem is our power has to go right here, so I'm really going to say that we're going to build a levee, but we need science for that. We'll build a platform or something right here. That way uh, our science can go right there, or our... Uh, we can have stuff built right on top of it. Because these dams are expensive. They're 20 logs a piece. They are not cheap. And as we cut down these trees, it's going to get harder and harder for us to uh, do things without a forester. So if you look down here at wood, a forester is only 60 science. But he requires 7 planks. And in order to get planks, we're going to need a... Where is it? Uh, we're going to need a lumber mill. But a lumber mill built like that to connect directly to our water wheel is going to require something being built right here. Because uh, unfortunately, I just built the dams in the wrong spot. So we're going to finish the dams up. Hopefully this one's little warning goes away. And look, it's already the second month, day three. So up here in the top right, it's got our cycle. Uh, yeah, you can see it kind of highlighting. I'm pretty sure it's not recording my mouse, actually. Uh, but it says what weather we're having. Forecast is unknown, but it says what weather we're having, what the day is, what month it is, what, how much they're working. So we have 16-hour work days right now, kind of working them skin and bone. 
And then up here we have all of our resources. So we have some carrots, some water, things like that. Uh, we have three baby beavers. And if you look down here in the left, you can see that we've had some beavers die of old age, unfortunately, and a bunch of new ones being born. So the goal is just to get to the point where you can sustain your population. Uh, the dam is more important than the water wheel, but we're going to up the priority of the water wheel. Because it's forcing a bunch of water out right now anyway, so... Once the water wheel's done... Actually, no. We're going to not up the water wheel. We're going to... All the logs are going to go there, and then they'll go to the water wheel, because you have more than enough logs in this area. And if not, we'll just move you down again. Because really, there's no point in him being right here, so we could do this and just keep, keep him, like, right here and put another right here. And then he covers the entirety of this area. So we'll get rid of that. High prioritize him. These guys are high pry too, but that's for the logs. So without any logs, this should get built pretty quickly. Somebody should be heading over there to build it. And then my one unemployed beaver will start working there again. And now we have another another source. And our water is drastically increasing in this corner. You're hungry. Go eat, little guy. So they'll tell you if they're hungry or what's going on. They'll give you little warnings, things like that. That's only got one log right now. But that only needs 18 more, which isn't... Oh, we've cut down all of these trees. Oh, but you can cut down all of these, too. So let's tell him to cut down all of these, because he can get up here to this area. And all of these. And all of these. And that one. And all of those. And that one. And he can start cutting these down. So now he's got a quite large, quite a large area. He should be cutting down. Oh, I didn't mark these trees. Dur -dur 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 -dur. I'm just stupid sometimes. There we go. So now he'll start cutting down the trees right there. The dam pretty much done and then that'll get finished and then we have 66 science which I think is almost enough that is enough for the forester but is it enough for a levy we need 120 science for a levy I mean we could build a dam but a levy is much cheaper so I'd rather just fast forward and get a I'd rather just fast forward some science and get a levy going much cheaper in the long run we're making a little bit of science every day not a lot but we'll get to 120 in like a few days and then we'll build a levy there but we can get the water wheel going at least because this is only like four away from being done the log pile has got a nice stock going so it'll go fast once we get the levy and then we can just get enough science for the other thing and they'll finally demolish all this. There we go. So you see how the water now is kind of being forced to the very, very edge of this block before it overflows. Yeah, that's what we want. We want the water being forced to the very edge. Just like that. So a levee, very similar to the dam, is just built in place, but it doesn't allow water to flow through it at all. It's just like it sounds. It's a levy. Hmm. So we've got 81 science. The beavers are doing their best. They're going to start building this guy. He takes a lot of logs. 50 logs is not a cheap investment. But this guy should be able to get them the logs they need. And so should this guy. He's got more than enough uh, range. I guess he can't reach these trees up here, so I'll just unmark them. So if you see the stumps, the stumps means that they're not going to grow back. If you see the little seedlings, it means they'll grow back. Things about the stump, or the forester, is he pretty much just constantly plants the trees. So once there's trees, there's just trees. So you can have a lumberjack that just constantly cuts down more trees, and then you get an infinite supply of wood. For your beavers to do their job. So 
also could have just built a water wheel over here. I'm not... Hmm. Brain no work today. <laughs> could have built one over here along with the dam and it probably would have worked out much better. We probably still will build a dam right here. Just because we need... That's water source. Oh god. This one's not water sourced. We're eventually going to need to get down here to get to this. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a mine down here, too. So if you see that, that's a mine. That's how you get to a, a lot of metal resources. You have to build an underground mine. The mines of Moria. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to... We have 105 research, so almost enough for the levy. And we also almost have enough for our... Right here, uh, he's got 13 logs, he has, he's got 20 logs, my god. We need more people building. He's already got the 20 we need. So we already have the logs that we need, they just haven't been brought over here. And look at all of them, they scramble out in the morning. Watch, as soon as it's daytime. And there they go, and there's my farmers harvesting and planting. Uh, ideally, once you have a lot of people, you can start doing things like right now. Eh, where would I put it, though? I would like to have another farmer. But I would like it close enough. Ooh. That's not what I want. I mean, that would be nice, I guess, if it could go down there. You want a farmhouse. But if I go there, it's not long. You want one planting and then one uh, harvesting simultaneously. It can just be a little daunting trying to find the right space sometimes. Because there is no space. So you see how they're, they're focused on harvesting. I'd rather them be focused on planting than harvesting. So we'll just swap it over to planting and... They'll focus more on the planting than the harvesting. And these guys are still focused on that. But we have 120 science, which means we can now go to landscaping and research a levee. And now a levee only costs 20. So we have a levee here now. And these can be built on top of, which is what we wanted. And we only need eight more logs for that. So you see, now they're planting uh, over harvesting, which is ideal because I just want them to have a continuous source. I'd rather them harvest after everything is planted. So now that they've planted, they will go to harvest. Perfect. These guys for three logs left. That guy's carrying a log. What's your name? Witud. Witud is carrying a log ditfully for his owner, his master. I don't know. What am I? Am I a beaver god? God of the beavers? You can build temples later on, so... We've got our dam fully functional. It's creating this wonderful looking waterfall here. And it's actually quite a quaint little self-sustaining village now. We're probably going to make this just our forestry area. Ooh, that is going to be an issue, isn't it? So there we go. Now we have our water wheel. So now it's going to say, build a lumber mill and then power the lumber mill. Well, the lumber mill is going to go right here, so we have to wait for the levee to be built. Because we're going to build on top of it. And then we'll delete these pathways. And then we'll build the lumber mill right here, and it'll be powered. And then we'll probably... Is there... There is a way up. But there's not a way up on this side, is there? Hmm... It's kind of annoying. I really wanted... Alright, so we need one more log. I really wanted to build into this area and make this the forestry area. Just because the, the lumber mill is going to be right here. Then uh, I just want to make it pretty like condensed into one area. We'll probably move our lumber yard over there somewhere. We'll turn this into the lumber area. This will become farmland. Because it will stay nice and fertile. Yeah, so you see now they've built that, they've gotten rid of that, we'll get rid of the path, and we will throw down a lumber mill. Oh, and it's perfect, we can just destroy 
these two and then we'll path along the back of it over the dam because we can build paths on our dams and there we go now we can connect to this area and if our city says so ooh, well it's because it hasn't connected to here we're going to be very close to the edge of our city though over here which is fine i don't really mind that so now it wants us to build the lumber mill and power it. Uh, it only needs a few more logs, which we have. Oh, we have quite a few logs. Yes, 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 yes. It's coming along nicely, isn't it? As we turn this into our lumber area, I guess, instead of a blueberry area. I don't know. We're in this area over here. Oh, another three days until a drought. No worries. We had no issues last time. I don't really see any issues coming this time. Oh, we have six unemployed beavers, though, which means we can have two more builders and haulers. Which means just pretty much everything will go by a little bit quicker. So there we go. We have the lumber mill. And now this is producing horsepower. So it's producing 125. We only need 50. And now we need a forester. So let's do what we're going to plan on doing. We'll build the forester kind of oh we need 60 we almost have the research for the forester in like two days we'll have research for the forester we need six more come on whoever works here shardrala y'all are gonna have to leave names for the beavers we're gonna have to rename these beavers leave a name for the district and then leave a name for the beavers that's what we're gonna need and that is your job. Leave that down in the comments somewhere. But as we get around here, we're going to build some paths. And I'm just kind of curious. So we're going to have a lot of... Paths like that. But where does... So you see the red line, how it stops? Anything outside of this blue area cannot be built now. So, uh, ideally, paths, and path over here, and it just gives us a little bit of a ways, but anything inside that blue area can't be built. Okay, we have enough research, so now we'll build the forester, and we're going to put him right here, and you see all of this blue area that's highlighted he can plant it. We don't really want it on this side, so we're going to try and move it. But you see how it's yellow? It says this construction's too far away, but this isn't. But if we rotate him like that, it gives us all the area we were looking for. And it can still be built. Actually, is that going to be connected to a district, though? Oh, that's not going to be connected to the district. Never mind. So if you build outside of that red line, I've got to see where that red line stops. So it stops right here. If you build outside of that red line, unfortunately, it pretty much no beavers will go work there. We're going to have to build the forester. Mm. That's a big L, isn't it? You know what? We'll put forestry over here. We already have a lumberjack going. We'll put forestry over there and we'll build a bridge across We'll just build a giant bridge and that'll uh we'll get wood transferred one way to the other because right now it's going to be kind of spread out and farming and then we'll have industrial and it's going to be kind of annoying until we can get bridges but we do what we can do until we can't do anymore so this guy makes planks which is what we needed for you so we need several planks the drought has started which means, unfortunately, no water will be flowing. So we can't really... Uh, can't think of words right now, either. Can't really work on planks. But this guy's already been built. So now, I just have to see where he can plant to. And we're going to plant a bunch of trees. So we're going to plant... We're going to do birch first. Because birch is a fast-growing... And we just want a nice swath of birch. We're going to need to assign some things for deletion to. Uh, if they're trees like this. Or if they're 
like this over here, we're going to have to end up getting rid of them eventually. But let's get a path over here before we do all that. So now we've marked our path over here. We're going to have to get rid of all this stuff. So let's just go ahead and mark all that for deletion. Delete, delete, delete. Where's delete? Oh, I keep deleting. That's buildings now. So let's mark the baby trees for deletion and then the rest of that for deletion. So now he'll go through and he'll replace all the stumps with baby birch trees. And then over here, we're going to have some pine trees. So we're going to have some pine. Let's get some... Nope, let's see what it wants. Uh, it wants me to plant 20 pine trees anyway. So we're going to start right here and we're just going to cover this entire area with pine. Now pine takes a few more days than birch, but it gives you two logs per, and I think, yeah, that area is covered perfectly by him. And your settlement's now self-sufficient as long as water keeps flowing. So that's the end of tutorial. Close tutorial. So that's literally the tutorial. That's it. Uh, this goes all the way over here. So we still have two types of trees. We have, uh, where's my trees? We have the maple, which gives us a lot of logs. Probably my favorite tree. Also the most labor intensive. And it gives us syrup. And who doesn't love syrup? And we have chestnut. And uh, right here. I try not to plant outside of where my guys can reach. Because then you just have tilled soil. So his priority is going to be, he doesn't really have a priority, but it allows him to just, he's just going to do his thing. And as the trees grow up, our lumberjack over here is going to do his thing. And now he's almost done over here, so it's a good time. We have a stockpile. What else? What else? What else? How many people do? So we have two unemployed beavers. So now that we have some unemployed beavers, I would like to try and figure out the farming so since we have unemployed beavers this is our current farming district let's make it a new one over here so let's build farm house it's going to be kind of annoying isn't it hmm but if we built two uh, that's not going to work wait a second no, delete it before they put logs into it. Okay, so if we do a farmhouse right here. Hmm. Playing Tetris right now. Really, I'm just playing Tetris. Let's not do that. Okay, we're going to do something else. We're going to... Da, 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 we're going to make some land available. During the droughts, a really good time just to start planning. So we're going to start planning our settlement out. Uh, I think that instead of where I was just looking, we're going to stick to over here. This area is pretty much got like two trees left, and then it'll be marked. So we'll just mark everything here for deletion. Uh, demolish buildings. We'll just get rid of you. And then we're going to put down two farmhouses right next to each other and as these guys get built uh, this guy's pretty much just doing his own thing he's got like two more trees to cut down so i don't really care too much uh, our trees over here planted we don't we don't even have to pause our pump during the drought because of how much water is over here so that's not a big deal as you can see, as the water over here drops, it starts to dry out a little bit. But uh, the drought just ended, so do we really care? Not really. But we have both our farmers now. They kind of cover, they get some dual coverage over here. So uh, these guys are focused on harvesting. These are going to focus on planting. And we're going to delete you because we don't really need that lumberjack anymore. These trees, I believe, are just out of the zone for our pathway. So if we just put some pathways leading straight over there, they'll get rid of those trees for us. And we can start by demolishing this road. 
and then this covers all of this area which means all of this is about to become more carrot so we'll have one planting and then one harvesting perfect and we're just going to throw down some plant crops we're going to do some carrots so from like right here all the way to over here we'll include that area so now we have plenty of carrots uh, the carrots over here kind of unnecessary I think we just doubled our space though and then eventually since we have this path up here we can path around maybe so I like not disturbing my carrots and we'll see if that that's still green so we can build more farmhouses over here and continue along the ledge of this perfect well, that is a wonderful start. Our beavers have survived two droughts. It's already the third month. And uh, yeah, we have some issues. <laughs> we need a name and we need names. We just need a lot of names. We need names for the beavers and we need names for the city. So uh, please let me know down in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.